So, I trailblazed a career in digital graphics, getting into it before there were schools into it. I innovated, I, I pushed the PDF format, like I did things people were saying, you can't do that, I would do it. And they're like, oh, you can do it. Yes, because I'm like a super smart guy. So one of these things I did, one year I took a, a job being the production manager of a chain of community newspapers in Toronto. Uh, the problem was after I got there, I was a third person in a year. It was obvious why they couldn't retain somebody they weren't willing to pay. And the owner was not exactly understanding of how things work. So instead of me just taking off like the other two guys did, I said, screw that, I'm going to fix you. I'm gonna make it so nobody quits or whatever. Basically what I did is I eliminated my own position because it wasn't necessary, they couldn't afford it. And I trained a couple juniors, hired somebody else to take up the slack and you know, I, it was awesome. But another thing I did is I introduced to them a special color theory that managed to get the best color results out of the worst print reproduction process. It, like almost miraculous. It's a very uh, simple mathematical um, formula to generate the best color. So I came up with this idea. I managed to, you know, fix their uh, color reproduction and fix their, you know, office morale and bottom line morale. Like stuff nobody even thought of doing, I did it. So when I went from looking for work after that, I would put this story in, you know, this is a great accomplishment. And then a few days later, or a week later, the ads on Craigslist for my position would say, they're looking for somebody, but no geniuses, please. Literally said, no geniuses apply. So, you accomplish something in Canada, extraordinary, and you're treated like garbage. You innovate, uh, removing management levels, you innovate an entire new color theory to explain why certain colors and certain production processes have such a positive effect on the human eye and human emotions, and you're rewarded with employers telling you, we don't want smart people here. That was in the early 2000s. I chalked it up to just being in Toronto, that's the way they are. I moved out here to Vancouver, been here over 10 years, and uh, no, English Canadians, Canadians in general, there's something wrong with them, seriously wrong. And I explained it all in my book, or the book I'm hoping to finish, so if you could please donate to my campaign, uh, I'd really like to be able to focus and just finish it off and get this in, in your hands so you can see the truth about Canada, you know? I am the truth to a lie, and the whole country is fake as far as I'm concerned. Anyways, uh, help me finish this book and have a great day. Thanks.